so. <laughs> what? Catalytic converter is bad. Seriously? Yes, it's shot. It has two codes for it. I haven't even gotten around to the cosmetics of it yet because it needs a buff. So, so bad. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Wait. You're coming into the office. You ain't going anywhere. You're paying your bill. You got massive bills to pay. Come on. $13,559.23? Yes. I think I can wiggle out. <laughs> Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I'm on my way up to the Car Wizards in my 2003 Buick Park Avenue Ultra. The Car Wizard was very, very nice when he called and invited me up and said, I'll buy you lunch. I'm so excited to see you. Please come up as soon as you can, which means he has some bills for me. And I know there are some big projects going on up at the Car Wizards, and I imagine a few of them are finished and he is looking to collect. So I'll head up there and face the music, but the Buick unfortunately does have the warm amber glow of the check engine light on it popped on. Oh, about a week after I picked it up in the first round of repairs, which was $3,700 because this thing had been sitting for a long time. It still needs tires. It still needs to be cleaned up. So I'm buried in this thing. So hopefully it's something minor, but this is such a nice machine with that supercharged wine and these super, super comfortable seats. Oh. But before we get into things, I would like to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. I was looking for an easy meal solution that was fast, healthy, and didn't involve a lot of prep work so I could spend more time goofing off with cars, and Factor was the perfect solution. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons to help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or even cleanup needed. If you're like me and you have a super busy day and you're not in the mood to cook after all of that, Factor is perfect for you. You have the flexibility of adjusting your order size to add more meals if you're having company, or take a week off if you're on vacation. So head to factor75.com or click the link and use the code Hoovies50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's right, you get 50% off your first factor box by using the code Hoovies50. And free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Now, let's get back to the video. Uh, entering the wizard's lair and you can see the heads up display. So cool. And there's the wizard. wizard oh hi he's looking for something in there well <clears throat> a minute ago i thought i saw some fish swimming in there but that can't be there's gas in the fuel tank yes interesting shaped fuel tank it looks like when i go to olive garden have too many breadsticks you know <laughs> yeah so fuel pump dead it looks like yep dead fuel pump this thing's locked up i've never Everything seen that on a gm product ever i'm definitely happy to see you today oh Oh, really? Yes, it's payday. I know you said there's a few cars done up here, huh? Uh, all of them. All of them? All the things. They're all done. All the things and you have all the bills, I assume? Yeah, That's why you're happy to see me? There's a pretty pretty big stack in there. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, the Buick is back up. You did quite a bit of work to it, but unfortunately, the check engine light has come back on. Okay. Uh, so I'd love to have a peekaboo at that. But you're saying everything's done. Everything's so, done. Like the Ferrari 456 has been apart for a year. It's working. It's a running, driving machine again. It's ready to rock. Holy crap. So after this thing was so badly overheated and the engine had to be pretty much totally disassembled, mm -hmm. we're there. So there's a bill with this one. Yes. And one nice thing about this situation is you remember our friend Miguel? Yes. He donated some money towards this. Yes, because I bought it from Dubai and there was a lot of... Uh, well, shoddy workmanship on the car from that that mm -hmm. needed a lot of correcting, unfortunately. So it was very nice for Miguel at Tamini Classics to uh, step in a little bit. It wasn't necessary because I've had the car for almost four years now, yeah. but uh, I certainly do appreciate it. But the car trek Ferrari 456 is going. Wow. Done. I, 
I never thought I'd see the day. So <laughs> what else do we have here? I guess speaking of Ferraris, the 456, there was the uh, trunk issue, right? Yeah, that was fixed. The, uh, the actual latch was in the closed position, mm -hmm. and the, Daniel took it apart. It looked like somebody was slamming the hell out of it over and over. Do you know anybody that could have done that? Anything else, uh, but uh, yeah, I guess this is active aero, I suppose, because... Uh... No? Nope. Anyways, he got it all cleaned up and fixed, and it actually works now. Okay, great. Do I have a hole now? Yes, check, check it out. So if the battery does go dead... Then the only way to get to it was underneath here. And the new center console didn't have the hole. There's the hole and there's the pull. Very nice. So I don't have to take apart the center console if the battery ever goes dead. Nope. That is wonderful. And we took care of your vents. They're all secured in place now. <laughs> yeah, the, the most left vent, if I floored this car, would fly out and try and rack me in the uh, baby making department. Well, I guess that's all been disconnected. But it would still it still hurts. <laughs> it still hurts. Yeah. Yes. So that is nice. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, yeah, that's that's in there. God, what a beautiful car. Very nice. Okay, so Venusia 599 is done, the gated conversion. The gated factory 456 is done. Ferraris are always expensive, but that one wasn't too much. It had no parts, right? No parts, really. You yeah. just were able to clean up and fix the latch. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So what else is here? Uh, the GT500 with 210,000 miles. We are mostly done with it. We have the water pump done, your belt squeal is gone, your front end clunk with sway bar links and bushing is gone. We have some parts that just arrived to do the control arms and the, uh, the drive shaft support bearing and bushing are starting to go out on it. So, so that wasn't there. in your initial quote of repairs. So right. this is above and beyond. I got a little slop in the drive shaft and uh, the clunk in the front suspension, that was very clunky with that big sway bar, but there's more. Uh, on the front end, it was just sway bar bushings and links that oh, okay. took care of that clunking. But like when you go to engage the clutch, you can feel like a thud from mm -hmm. the drive shafts moving up and down. I see. All right. So a little more to go, but you have a bill so far on this one? Yep, have a bill so far, and I didn't know if you wanted to go any further. We have the parts here. If you do, if not, I can just send them back. No okay, and no more belt squeak. Nope. It's just amazing what this thing put out on the dyno with 210,000 miles on it, of course, with that aftermarket supercharger. Such a cool car. It's fast. Okay, so this is definitely starting to add up. Um, the 49 Cadillac? Is it? Yes. Is it done? It's about 95% done, maybe more. We only have five minutes left of work to do. We're waiting on a fan switch to actually operate your electric fan. And okay, so waiting on parts. The radiator was leaking, so we had to have a new one made. Came from Texas, aluminum looks very nice. Yeah, they did a great job. Nice welds. And uh, the fan will help keep it from overheating because this thing has some weird, like two radiators in it and mm -hmm. such. Yeah, it's very strange the way it's set up. I never had it overheat on me, but the previous owner talked about like, if it's a hundred degrees out and you're stuck in traffic, like be aware. Yeah. Um, but I was driving it in triple digit weather, just normal. There's not much traffic here in Wichita. so. Wasn't having too much problems, but that's why you added the second radiator and uh, you beefed up the fans now, so. Yep, we're just waiting on the switch, the sensor to go to this, plug it in. I have the bill already written up. I mean, all we have to do that is, and it's done. It can drive home. Very nice. Well, this has always been an amazing resto mod that can cruise down the highway at 80, thanks to that 70s 500 cubic inch V8. But mm -hmm. uh, the 46 Chrysler is all classic, right? It's all classic and it's actually, this one's done too. Whoa. So there was a lot of work to do because this thing sat in a museum for decades. Mm -hmm. I did have Car Ninja put on the new tires, so that'll make a world of difference. But I got to see under the hood of this thing. Yeah, the car wizard put a lot of TLC in this one himself. Yes. Because the young guns over here didn't want to work on it, right? They're not too into the old cars. and not really. I took this all apart. It had lead. You guys saw it in a previous yeah. video. It was full, chock full of actual lead from leaded mm -hmm. gas. And it was leaking from a few places. The water pump was... The water pump was shot. Yeah. The valve cover, the side valve covers were leaking. And then the uh, heater was disconnected. And now it's connected in a very elegant manner here. Mm -hmm. So you actually hooked up a lever to it, right? That's in the summer. You can shut off the coolant flow so there's no heat at all going into the cabin. Wow. If you want. I don't know if you'll need to or not, but if you do, it's there. Okay. 
an electric heater to replace the old gas powered one. So that's great. This is my pull lever to open and close the heat as well. Uh, that pull lever, yes. Nice. Okay. Well, wow. it actually looks the part. It looks like it maybe it was there when it was new. Well, it looks pretty elegant and seamless to me. Mm -hmm. And it'll be great to have this car driving as good as it looks. So I can take this one home? Yes. It's going to be this one. I need to come back with more people to get the rest, but I got to know what this thing drives like now that it's all sorted out. It's got good brakes. It runs like a top. It's got a heater. Yeah. And I feel like I need to test drive the 456 too because it's been over a year. But do you mind looking at the uh, check engine light on the Buick? Yeah, let's go take a look. All right. I already spent more than I ever should have on a 2003 Buick, like 3700 bucks to sort it out. But the check engine light was on was like a mass airflow sensor, I think, mm -hmm. before. So, what? Catalytic converter is bad. Seriously? Yes, it's shot. It has two codes for it. Well, they're not enormously expensive on these cars, but still, I'm going to be, like, more than what I paid. I'm going to be over 10 grand into this Park Avenue Ultra, which is just stupid. They're supposed to be reliable, wizard. They are. It's running. It didn't leave you stranded. And I haven't even gotten around to the cosmetics of it yet because it needs a buff so so bad so what are you doing <laughs> excuse me wait you're coming into the office you ain't going anywhere you're paying your bill you got massive bills to pay come on let's I, go like you don't want me to run no you're not you're not messing around no um well can we at least hold hands no no holding hands <laughs> okay i'm being escorted into the office Will you release me once we get into the office? Once the bill is paid, sure. All right. I'm... I'm... Not letting him get away. No, no, so apparently not. Guy. So you're going to have to do this one-armed here. All right. Here's the whole stack of bills. I suppose I'll let you loose. I mean... Uh, okay. You oh, go. yours was just slipped. Okay. So... It was yours that needed to be secured. I guess. The 49 Cadillac, $1,100. And that's with me paying for the radiator, right? Yes. The radiator was another $7,800. $7, so two grand in that one in the springtime breakage. There's the 456, which I got some help from Miguel. But yeah, $5,250 in labor. $5,800 with the help out from Miguel. So thanks so much for that, Miguel. But that's with also $4,000 in head work, I think, when it got sent off, right? Yes. So the heads had to be basically rebuilt after that overheat. So that's a $10,000 one there. Uh, 46 Chrysler Town & Country. A lot of stuff to do when it was out of mothballs. Okay, um, the heater stuff, 900 bucks in labor to convert it over. Mm -hmm. uh, total $4,026. Yes. I mean, not bad considering all the work that needed to be done, but it's adding up, huh? You just had a building finished up almost, and you got all these bills. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a uh, you know, $200,000 plus thousand dollar building. Uh, mm -hmm. Taxes coming April 15th. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, other stuff, yeah. This, so this is the... The Mustang, $1,670? Yep. And this is without doing the other stuff, huh? So belts and water pump and... Whoa. Sway bar links, bushings. Okie dokie. And then this is the Ferrari 599. Yes, which the smallest bill of all the, of them. The reasonable one is $750 to rebuild the trunk latch and take apart the center console to get that hole in there. And the service, I forgot about that. It did need an oil change, so... Uh, considering getting a service in there on a V12 Enzo powered Ferrari, that's that's pretty darn reasonable, wizard. I also threw in making the hole. I, I threw in the hole for you. Oh, you forgot to build a hole. Yes. Well, okay, I got something there. You got something. So what's what's the grand total? You ready? <laughs> okay. Give me that Thir thing back. This, wait. $13,559.23? Yes. Okay, I can see. I think I can wiggle out. <laughs> you better run. Yeah, no, I think, no, I can't leave all these cars behind. Uh, yeah, I but, can say I have the cars. Shoot. I have another idea to help you out. Okay. 
I can do this. And exchange. Are you having a stroke? No. No, you might when I tell you the deal. These are your GT500 keys. Yeah. And they go in my pocket. Oh, hold on there. So 13,000 and change worth of bills, but I paid 14 grand in shipping, and I guess I don't have to pay for the repairs. You'll still have a little bit of in-store credit left, like 1,200 bucks or something. Okay, so $15,000 yes. as in-store credit, but mm -hmm. 13 grand gets eaten up for that. It goes away, just like I just tore it up. I love that car, but I mean, honestly, I don't think I really have a choice with the uh, pickle that I've got myself in here. So, yeah, you, I, you've got yourself a deal. So I, I don't have to pay any money. You don't. I didn't even have to cuff you. Mm. This is the best day ever. Well, goodbye, Shelby. I barely knew thee, but it looks like you're in love, wizard. Oh, you're not supposed to see that part. Uh, so why do you want this thing, other than it being really cool? I've always really liked them, and the selling point or really made it for me is when I watch the I Am Legend movie, and the red one goes flying through the middle of the city. And yes. Like, Someday I've got to have a GT. Yes, the Will Smith one. It did sound so good echoing off the buildings with yeah. that supercharger and all that. Mm -hmm. I know you had a GT years ago, and Jenny had, a, I think, a V6 version of this body style yep. too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, when you get bored with it in a few months, let me know, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I've always wanted one. I might keep it for a while. We'll see. Yeah. Well, it's going to look good parked next to your Viper, I suppose. Yes. But, uh, you know, thanks for your sacrifice, Shelby. You saved me, well, a very expensive credit card bill. Well, I guess I'll test drive the Ferrari 456 if that's all right. Yeah. Go take it for a spin. You'll enjoy it. And then get out of here with the Chrysler. It's been so long since I've been in the luxury Ferrari. It's... Well, how about that? <laughs> it's been a long time, but despite it being the cushy, comfy Ferrari, still a V12, still a gated manual, and that's why I've, I've doubled the miles on this thing uh, since I bought it about four years ago. It only had 9,000 kilometers on it uh, from Dubai. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, it's always a little hard to shift when it's cold, but... Awesome. It's alive! <laughs> it's alive. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to keep this car with the gated 599. I have a V12 crazy fun driving experience, and this one, well, I need to sell it to pay bills. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy it until I find a home for this. Car Trek 4 car. Also, a few family trips in this thing because the kids actually fit in the back. It's a great Ferrari. Unfortunately, what I think happened is some bad wiring made the fans not kick on in traffic, and that's why it's so badly overheated. And Yeah, that, that was a bad deal because I just sold it, but then I felt bad, so I bought it back to fix it. But uh, it is happy now. But this is a long-awaited moment, too. I bought this in November, I think, or early December. Yeah. So it's been here for a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to cruise, wizard. The guy that did the exhaust on it said he pulled up a chair and just looked at it for a while. Yeah, it is a looker, but I'm hoping she drives half as good as she looks now. Oh yeah, wait, there's no key in it. I'll go get the key. This is so weird. <laughs> it's so weird I get to leave without paying something. It's great. <laughs> windy here in Kansas today, so I don't know how much I can do driving-wise in the 46th town of country, but it is driving perfectly. Everything works as it should. It's so smooth, so nice. For a car from 1946, it sure doesn't feel like it. The Wizard did a fantastic job. And yeah, I did have to give up a car, but not having to pay that bill sure is very nice, and having a bit of in-store credit. Oh yeah.
Thank you so much for watching. Before we go, I want to mention that I'm selling three of my cars, no reserve on cars and bids with daddy Doug DeMiro, including this, my million mile Dodge Ram, my 2006 BMW M6 with only 21,000 miles, and my Chevy HHR SS panel. Those are the first three. There'll be a few more in the coming weeks. They're all selling no reserve, and I have walk around videos live. I'll put the link down there to the auction. Please bid early, bid often. You can drive a million mile Ram home or another one of my hoopties. Once again, thank you so much for watching.